Hello, everyone. My name is DJ Neeks, and I would like to welcome you to my playthrough of what has now become known as one of the greatest open worlds, open world video games, and experiences in the history of video games. As we hear one of the most famous video game themes you'll ever hear. Woo! Well, I'm ready to go now. <laughs> oh, man. The goosebumps that theme gives me every time I hear it. I'm ready to go. So... In case you haven't figured it out by now, it is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition, now released for the next gen of consoles, PS4, Xbox One, and also PC, but I'm sure, you know, that uh, if you prefer to play this on PC, why would you bother getting this when you can already get the Legendary Edition and such, though? Um, I've heard they've given their reasons. So... Just to give you guys some historical perspective, let me go ahead and turn this down for a moment. Five year, This game came out five years ago, and my gosh, the hype and anticipation that everybody had for this game was unlike anything you could imagine. Everyone was expecting and knew that this game was going to be good. It was, you know, of course, made, being made by Bethesda, who had made Fallout 3... And uh, Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which a lot of people loved. And when they start talking about, oh, by the way, this is what we're going to be adding into the next game, including dragons, everyone thought this game is going to be amazing. It not only lived up to the hype, it exceeded it. It gave us more than we thought we were going to get. It exceeded everyone's expectations. It quickly became established as one of the greatest games ever made where now five years later it has like become so well known and, and uh you know beloved and highly praised that it's a legendary game now you know it's it already achieved that legendary status so so i want to quickly take a moment to uh show you guys something so at one point, they said, oh my gosh, are you, ki are you kidding me? <sighs> All right, so here's what I want to uh, point out about this. So, obviously with a game that's five years old on, you know, especially on PC, this game has probably as many mods on PC as any game out there. And there's a lot of really great mods. And then they said, hey, by the way, we're going to make it where you can use mods on the consoles. And it, we were like, wait, what? And then at one point they said, actually, we're not going to do that. And now it came out and it said, hey, guess what? You're going to get to use mods. And I thought, great. I'll get to see what mo using mods on consoles are like. But here's the thing, guys. It's not quite as easy or as simple as I thought it was going to be. Or as you may have thought it was going to be. So here's what it says here. Uh, you have to sign in to Bethesda.net in order to get the mods from the community. And then it says, play with mods at your own risk. You may experience issues with mods, which, you know, is kind of the usual thing when it comes to using mods in, in uh, any game. Uh, you can disable mods via load order and go back to your original save at any time using select character in the load menu. Downloading and playing with mods is subject to our term service. Note, trophies are disabled. Which is a bummer. So if you're wanting to be collecting the trophies or achievements in this game... You're not going to be able to use the mods. I mean, if you want to then use it on like a second run after you've gotten your trophies, that's probably what they're going to want to do. And besides, hopefully at that point, it's it's funny to say this with a game that's now f over five years old, but hopefully they will update and make this better. I, you know, I'm, I'm assuming there's bugs. Look, I'm telling you guys, this game may have been great, but my goodness, you want to talk about a game that at times was unplayable due to the amount of bugs and glitches that this game had, especially on the consoles. It was literally unplayable on PlayStation 3. I had to wait 
uh, because all I had was a PlayStation 3 when this game came out. I didn't have a PC, I didn't have an Xbox 360, all I had was a PlayStation 3, and I wanted to play this game. But I had to wait until they came out with a number of patches to try and make it playable. So, I had to wait the longest time to be able to actually play this game on PS3. When I did, though, when I did finally get to play it, my gosh, guys, I absolutely loved it. I spent so many hours playing this game. Uh, it was one of the more memorable experiences that you will ever, that I've ever had playing any video game, and I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. And, of course, this does come with the add-ons that came out for this game, Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn which we will progress as we progress in the game. But for now, let us start a new game. There he is. And the scrolls have foretold of black wings in the cold, that when brothers wage war, come unfurled. Alduin, bane of kings, ancient shadow unbound, with a hunger to swallow the world. This, right here, is Alduin, the Black Dragon, the Eater of Worlds. But there's the game studios. Ooh, I'm so excited! Get to experience this game once again, now on PS4. I'm so excited, guys. Presents. The Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim. I can already tell you the textures do look better. Not by much, though. But there are some notable improvements. What the? I feel like I'm a prisoner. Hey, you. Ooh, me? You're finally awake. All right, hold on. Time to pause and look at the options and set the options up. Quest journal, list, yes, 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 yes. Okay. Settings. Hmm. Uh, um. Oh my gosh, legendary. Uh. Let's have it on Apprentice for now. A lot of say, yes. This is kind of mandatory. So, yeah, uh, this game is infamous for, uh, that you needed a ton of saves, because you never know when you were going to experience a game-breaking bug. Uh, dialogue subtitles, general subtitles, there we go. Audio. Uh, music, let's turn down the music, in case any copyright issues come up. Heck, I risked it just by letting the theme play, so... Go. Savings are saved. Ah, so I see they uh, have a very good help system, similar to uh, Fallout 4, that they've added here to help kind of explain to people who may be experiencing this game for the very first time, uh, who never actually got to play it back then. Alright, so we still have regular save and quick save, but can't do that yet. Can't look at the other stuff yet either. You were trying to cross Bailoff. the border, right? Hi, I was. Walked right into that imperial ambush, same as us, and that thief Ooh, this over guy? there. Damn you, stormcloaks! Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. If they hadn't been looking for you, could have stolen that horse and been halfway oh, to Hammerfell. Oh, horse thief, huh? You there? You and me? We shouldn't be here. It's these stormcloaks. Hey, hey, hey! Don't Empire be dragging me into this, pal. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now, thief. Shut up back there. Hey. What's wrong with him, huh? Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true high king. Wait, that's a king? Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. The rebellion? They've captured you. Oh, God. Where are they taking us? Oh, so the Empire has captured no us, and we're... Done. I'm a, a prisoner along with the rebellion, huh? Note his uh, blue this armor. Can't be happening. This isn't happening. So I guess the blue armor means they're part hey, of the Stormcloak, so the rebellion. What are you from, horse thief? Why do you care? A Nord's last thoughts. A Nord. Oh. The natives of Skyrim. Rorikstead. I'm. 
I'm from Rorikstead. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Sure. Mara, Dibella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help <laughs> me. Look at him. General Tullius, the military Where? governor. Oh, and it looks like the Dalmor are with him. Ah. Damn elves. I bet they had something to elves, do with huh? this. Look at that, they have his uh, mouth uh, gagged. Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl for <laughs> Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Funny. When I was a boy, Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Not anymore, I'm guessing. Who are they, Dad? Where are they going? Good to go inside. Why? I want to watch the <laughs> soldiers. Inside the house. Now. Yes, Papa. He's like, that's right, get inside. Move it. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? Why do you think? <laughs> I like this guy. He and I are on the same page. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. Speak for yourself. Face your death with some <laughs> courage, thief. You've got to tell them! We worked with you! This is a mistake! Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time! <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ah. Ulfric Stormcloak, Jarl of Windhelm. It has been an honor, Jarl Ulfric. Greylof of Riverwood. Oh boy. Lokir of Rorikstad. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do Dude, this. Dude, I don't think. Halt! Uh oh. You're not gonna kill me. Archers! Anyone else feel like running? Wait, you there? Who Step me? Forward. Hold on. Aha! Yes. Make my first save. Oh, it automatically saved for me. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and make a separate one. Yes. Quick save. Who are you? Who am I indeed? All right, so here is the character creation screen for this game, where you get to take a look at each of the different races in this game and, of course, be able to shape how you want your character to look. So let's take a look at each of the different uh, races you can play as. First, <laughs> the Argonians. This reptilian race, well suited for the treacherous swamps of their Black Marsh homeland. There's a lot of lore in each of these. Uh, this is the fifth game in the series. There's a ton of lore and backstory uh, in Elder Scrolls. Has developed a natural resistance to diseases and the ability to breathe underwater. They can call upon the Hits... Hitskin to regenerate health very quickly. The Breton. In addition to their quick and perceptive grasp of spellcraft, even the humblest of High Rock's Bretons can boast a resistance to magic. Bretons can call upon the dragon skin power to absorb spells. The Dark Elf. Also known as Dunmer, or Dunmer, in their homeland of Morrowind, Dark Elves are noted for their stealth and magic skills. They are naturally resistant to fire and can call upon their ancestors' wrath to surround themselves in fire. High Elf, also known as Altmer in their homeland of Somers Somerset Isle, the High Elves are the most strongly gifted in the arcane arts of all the races. They can call upon the highborn power to regenerate magicka quickly. The Imperial. Natives of Cyrodiil, they have proved to be shrewd diplomats and traders. They are skilled with combat and magic. Anywhere gold coins might be found, the Imperials always seem to find a few more. They can call upon the voice of the Emperor to calm an enemy. Hailing the Khajiit. Hailing from the province of Elswire, they are intelligent, quick, and agile. 
They make excellent thieves due to their natural stealthiness. All Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. Basically, if you want to play as a cat person. The Nord. Citizens of Skyrim, they are a tall and fair-haired people, strong and hardy. Nords are famous for their resistance to cold and their talent as warriors. They can use a battle cry to make opponents flee. The Orc. The people of the Roth, Garion, and Dragontail Mountains, Orcish smiths, are prized for their craftsmanship. Orc troops in heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire, and are fearsome when using their berserker rage. The Red Guard. The most naturally talented warriors in Tamriel, the Red Guards of Hammerfell have a hardy constitution and a natural resistance to poison. They can call upon an adrenaline rush in combat. And last, but certainly not least, the Wood Elf. The clan folk of the Western Fallon Wood Forest, also known as Bosmer, Wood Elves make good scouts and thieves, and there are no finer archers in all of Tamriel. They have natural resistances to both poisons and diseases. They can command animals to fight for them. So obviously a lot of different options that you can be able to choose from if you want to make your character with different benefits that you might be looking for in this game. Uh, various different things. Um, and it also plays into your play style for the gameplay. So like for example, if you want to be one who specializes mainly in uh, magic, uh, the High Elf is uh, the best one to go with as they regenerate magic quickly and are able to uh, learn uh, the different uh, magic skills in the skill tree, which I will show you guys later uh, in this game. Uh, if you're wanting to go with a warrior type of uh, class, uh, sometimes uh, one, you know, some of the best examples can be either the Red Guard, the Orc, or even the Nord, uh, as they each have different benefits there. Uh, obviously, archery, if you want to go with archery, uh, Wood Elf is the way to go. Uh, the different, you know, there are also different benefits as well, such as, uh, if you want to be better at, uh, fist fighting, you know, uh, the Khajiitas actually has the edge on that as they can use their claws, um, instead of just fists. And you'll get into some fist fights throughout this game. And also, if you want to be able to re, uh, resist uh, diseases and poison and things like that, as well as be able to not ever have to worry about uh, breathing, you know, or, you know, when you go swimming underwater, uh, the Argonians is also a good way to go, as they can be able to uh, breathe underwater with ease. Um, the Dark Elves is also a good choice if you want to, uh, you know, because you'll probably be going up against fire a lot of the time, so you'll be able to be resistant to fire. And also be able to Im improve both your stealth and magic skills. So there's different benefits to various different ones here, as you can see. So what am I going to be playing? Well... <laughs> I am still indecisive on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here. And when we come back, I will have probably finished making my character. Stay tuned. <laughs> 